Good morning, it's Thursday, All Hallows' Eve, October 31st, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Dying in Winter, Rising in Faith, and our scripture is Jeremiah chapter 33. Then this message came to Jeremiah from the Lord. This is what the Lord says. If you can break my covenant with the day and night so that one does not follow the other, only then will my covenant with my servant David be broken. The Lord gave another message to Jeremiah. He said, Have you noticed what people are saying? The Lord chose Judah and Israel and then abandoned them. They are sneering and saying that Israel is not worthy to be counted as a nation. But this is what the Lord says. I would no more reject my people than I would change my laws that govern night and day, earth and sky. Predatory behavior, which takes advantage of public opinion and fears, is what bullies do. From the dawn of humankind's existence, there have been those who act this way, seizing on opportunities to put God in the background and put themselves in charge. It's a form of trick-or-treat. The trick is the naysayers get to be in God's place, while the treat is those tricked get to breathe a sigh of relief, false as the promises might be. Masking and costumes are a way of attempting to diffuse the terror relationship we humans have with our mortality. Among some of the ancient Celtic traditions is the practice of impersonating terrifying mythical creatures as a means of dissipating fear of the unknown. Many pagan celebrations at this time of year are meant to stave off the harsh impact of winter. By imitating death with masks, it was thought to hold back the coming cold bleakness. But, as with whistling in the dark, making light of reality changes nothing. Ghost and goblin masks on children don't have a chance against death. For the church, today is the evening vigil before All Saints Day. That's All Hallows' Eve, or Halloween, and begins three days' observance of departed believers, ending on All Souls' Day. The entire celebration is called All Hallows' Tide. The central focus is on the faith which is common to both the church here on earth and the church triumphant, those already in the presence of our Lord. Now, I would get disagreement on both sides of this argument, probably from both believers and pagans, but neither Halloween nor horror movies scare me, nor does the practice of trick-or-treat bother me. In my parents' generation, the Great Depression era, and in their part of the world, the cultural norm for the practice was not on October 31st, but closer to Thanksgiving when the children would go door-to-door. Their phrase, with outstretched little palms, was, pennies for Thanksgiving. Well, it was a long time ago. Today it would be, ten bucks for Turkey Day. Whether one is bothered by the holiday frenzy with trick-or-treating, or simply glad the children get to dress up and have a ball, there's one matter that concerns at least me. I fear that we've dropped the ball in the cycle of the Christian year. Our disconnect from a sacred observance of triumph over death, ironically celebrated in the culture by holding up death as the ultimate celebrity, further serves to isolate our culture's children from the genuine cure for our morbid fears, Christ's victory over death. It's been 15 years since Mel Gibson's movie The Passion of Christ hit the big screens. I recall watching that movie for the first time shortly after it was available on DVD. Afterward, I couldn't sleep for a week. The depictions of the violence done to Jesus and the scourging and the crucifixion gave the film an R rating. It should have been HS for heart and soul squeezing. The sinister nature of Satan's attempts to insert himself into Christ's mind made any Stephen King movie seem like a Sesame Street production. In short, I bought the DVD and I watch it every so often. With our culture's fascination with masks and unreality, the waking dead, etc., I want a constant reminder of reality. The Lord Jesus, who never abandons me and takes all the fear out of death's sting. For you today, 
If you're into trick-or-treating, you'll get little criticism from me. But while you're taking your kids from door to door, don't forget to teach them the real reason for this season. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.